What's up my dudes, it's Demi and today I am at Disney's Yacht Club Resort. This resort has a lot to offer being only steps away from Epcot, have a lot of great dining and being surrounded by a ton of other resorts and other great dining and so much more. And today I'm gonna be giving you a full tour of this resort, including going over the benefits you get when you stay here and showing you a water view room that sleeps up to five people. You may have heard of this as the Yacht and Beach Club Resort, and that is because they are literally attached at the hip. But today we are only gonna be looking at the Yacht Club side of Yacht and Beach Club. There are gonna be some things that the resort share, but this is its own resort, so it deserves its own video. I wanna thank Magical Vacations Travel for sponsoring this video. So now let's head inside, let's see this beautiful resort, and let's go get into some hijinks. Disney's Yacht Club Resort is a deluxe resort located right near Epcot on the boardwalk. You may have heard of it as Yacht and Beach Club and that is because they are attached. They are separate resorts but they do share the number one rated pool in Walt Disney World, Stormalong Bay. Some of the benefits you get when you stay here are early park entry. That means you can enter any of the four theme parks 30 minutes before the general public. You also have more availability of the theme park you would like to reserve because at time of recording you must make a theme park reservation on top of your theme park ticket. You also have access to extended evening hours. On select nights, a park is chosen for deluxe resort guests to be able to stay two hours after the park closes. Out the front door of the lobby is where you will find your bus transportation. The bus takes you to Magic Kingdom, Animal Kingdom, Disney Springs, and then you can transfer from Disney Springs to the water parks. Transportation to Epcot and Hollywood Studios, you will use the boat in the back of the resort unless there is a weather issue and then they will run a bus. And because of the location, it's a five minute walk to Epcot and about a 20 to 25 minute walk to Hollywood Studios. Ballet is at the front of the resort, but now let's head inside and see the lobby. When you first walk in, you enter the lobby. It's very wide and spacious. It has a lovely smell. The lighting is very dim in here and it's a very relaxing environment. It being the Yacht Club, it has a nautical theme. You will find nautical touches throughout the resort with blue and white and gold colors throughout. In the center of the lobby is the big beautiful globe. It has these fish on the sides, these gold fish. And yeah, you can move it. I wonder how accurate the globe is because apparently globes have been lying to us our whole lives and they're not accurate. Uh, <laughs> but it's such a beautiful piece. To the right of the front door is the check-in area, but if you have the My Disney Experience app, you can do mobile check-in, link your resort hotel. It will give you your room number. You go directly to your room, and then you can use your phone or your magic band as your key. Across from check-in is the hotel's little TV with the chairs great for kids to come and hang while you're at the front desk with checking in or any other issues. To the left of the front door is Bell Services. If your room is not ready, you can leave your bags here. Or if you are checking out and you wanna to go to the parks, you can leave your bags and then get them when you're done. If you head up the steps in the lobby, you have a great photo op of a helm and it's a working one. And let me tell you something, it's so satisfying to do this. It's so smooth and it, it honestly, I feel like Barbosa when I'm doing this. This hotel is fairly easy to navigate. You either go right or left. So we are going to head to the left first and see this side and then we'll come back and see the right side because that's also where the room is. First, we have the Ale and Compass restaurant. They serve breakfast, lunch, dinner. I have dined here for dinner. I have a review. I will link it for you right here. The dinner menu is a New England style menu. It was very good and very reasonably priced. And then attached is the Ale and Compass Lounge. It's really nice in here. I actually was in here last night. I got like a cappuccino and some buffalo cauliflower. And this is the restaurant's lounge. So they have a select menu, but a great drink menu. And it's so nice in here. And they even have TV with sports on for you sports fans. Now we're gonna just walk all the way around the Ale and Compass restaurant to see another restaurant. So after you walk around Allen Compass, you have the Yachtsman Steakhouse. It's a very popular steakhouse here in Walt Disney World. I have not had the pleasure of dining here yet, but it is on my list. And then attached to Yachtsman Steakhouse is their lounge, Cruise Cup Lounge. Open from 5 to 9.30. It's first come, first serve. All lounges in Disney World are no reservations, just walk in. And they have a select menu from the Yachtsman Steakhouse here. 
We now have to walk outside under the canopy to see the rest of this side of the hotel. Out here is where you can find Ship Shape, which is the fitness center open 24 hours. They also have an attached spa. However, at time of recording, it has not yet reopened. Ship Shape Fitness Center is shared by both Yacht and Beach Club. It's not very big, but it has a lot of stuff in there. It has six treadmills, five elliptical stepper machines, weights, there was a lot of people working out in there and I was not going to be filming them working out, obviously. We are about to cross the border from the gray to the blue. We are officially in beach club territory, but that's because Yacht and Beach Club share the arcade. Here is the arcade open from eight to 11, has all modern games. It's a nice like open space area, just all the games on the perimeter and a couple in the center. They have some classic games like Pac-Man, air hockey, skee-ball, but also things like Giant Fruit Ninja. And don't forget the best game of all. Now it's time to check out the most famous pool in Walt Disney World. And here she is deemed the best pool at Walt Disney World Storm Along Bay, also shared with the beach club, but there is a lot of room to share. There's so many different parts to this pool. One is this pool that has sand in it. The sandy pool goes up to three feet and there are life jackets for your kiddos. A hot tub, of course, the Lazy River, which is the kind of main attraction here. They have tubes to provide. This does go up to eight feet, so please be aware if you have young children that want to do this. And then just a regular pool with no sand on this side has the really nice waterfall and it goes up to five feet. And then finally, this incredible pirate ship slide. You have to go out the gate into the other gate, walk up, and then you slide all the way back over here back on the other side and when you drop into the water by the slide it's about four feet they also have the giant tic-tac-toe here pool noodle beach volleyball then if you come up the stairs there's some more lounge seating over here and they have a pool table there is a pool bar here of course hurricane hannah's opens at 11 a.m along with a full bar you can get some food like grilled chicken burger impossible burger a salad and they have some bar seating as well and then finally all the way in the front is your sandy beach there is no swimming usually there are lounge chairs but there aren't any but i did see some toward beach club even though it's the beach club side you can still go over there even if you're not staying here at all you can hang out on the beach just don't go in the water oh look it's nighttime Every night from 5.30 to 6.30 on the left side of the ship, the campfire opens up and you can make s'mores. There are s'mores kits in the merchandise location. And then at seven, the movie Under the Stars starts. Every night they play a Disney movie and you get to watch it here under the beautiful stars. I mean, this is, this is so far my favorite view for movie Under the Stars. How gorgeous is this? So the pool and the sandy beach is the back of Yacht Club. This is also the walking path to Epcot. It's a 10 minute walk. It's really, really convenient. And then if you walk to the right, it's a pretty far walk. It's about like 20 to 25 minutes. Uh, if you go behind the Atlantic Dance Hall, that is the path to Hollywood Studios. But don't fret see right here this is your boat transportation this boat takes you to either epcot hollywood studios it also stops on the opposite side over at the boardwalk it stops at the swan and dolphin if you don't feel like walking over there and you want to check those places out plus you have your bus service to magic kingdom and animal kingdom and disney spring the pool and all its fun is really incredible. If you are a family that really wants to have a great pool day, this is an incredible option for you. Back in the lobby, and now we're gonna head to the right to see the rest of the resort and the room. To the right of the lobby are the elevators to get to all of the rooms here, but first we're gonna take a look at the rest of this first floor on the right, and then we will come back and head upstairs and see the room. Here we have the market. This is where you can get some grab-and-go food and merchandise. The market is on mobile order for breakfast. They have eggs, Mickey waffles, you could do oatmeal, a platter, a sandwich, all of your classic Disney breakfast options. For lunch they do sandwiches, paninis, just check the mobile app to see what they're offering. They also have grab and go stuff in the hot area and in the fridges like salads and 
cold sandwiches, fruits, yogurt, and desserts. There's also alcohol in the fridges and they even have a wine selection here. They have a bunch of snackies here, fruit, cereal, a bakery case, ice cream including Mickey premium bars and Mickey ice cream sandwiches. There is a microwave in here as well if you are looking for one. Coffee and tea. And this is where you can come and get your resort refillable mug. It's $21.99, wow that went up in price, for your stay. Refills are free. You can only do this here in the resort, not in the Disney parks. On the opposite side, you have your merch store. They have classic Disney products for sale, but they also have like boat wear attire. I mean, definitely in theme with this resort, but it's all like very beachy vibes in here. You could literally just go shopping if you were at a normal store. Let's take a look at the Yacht Club merch. A Yacht Club hat, a tiny plate, these very heavy duty beer steins, this big Tervis tumbler, insulated water bottle, artwork of the hotel, this adorable ornament, a bag, and a magnet. Wait, there's a Disney Cruise Line playset. Oh my God, look how cool this is. I just went on the Disney Wish this past year, like two Two weeks after it opened, I made 12 videos. I will link the playlist for you here. But like, I want this. How much is it? It's $99.99. Never mind. Also note that this is where you'll come if you need any pharmaceutical products. Okay, I walked all the way down the hall and now we are gonna head out this door to see the quiet pool. When you first walk out, next to the pool is the tennis court. And then here you have the quiet pool. And what's so crazy is that this pool is open way longer than Stormalong Bay. It's open from seven to midnight. There's also a kiddie pool over here. And also at the quiet pool, you will find the guest laundry. There are six dryers, only three washers. Uh, and oh look, I guess they're just leaving them out today because I noticed that this says out of order. So hey, at least that, that's nice. I've never seen Disney do something like that before. That's pretty cool. Back by the elevators and we're gonna head up and see the room. Just a short walk to the end of the hall and here is my room 4127. So here's a little bonus. Yesterday when I checked in, I went to my room and they accidentally gave me an accessible room. So here's a little look of it. The bed is a little bit low. They have the button on the wall for the door. The bathroom is very spacious and has no lip to get right into the shower. But now we're gonna look at a two queen, one twin room that sleeps up to five people. I am so excited to be able to provide you this room and resort tour, which is why I have to thank Magical Vacations Travel for sponsoring this video. Magical Vacations Travel was recently awarded platinum earmark status with Disney Destinations, which means that just last year, over 5,000 families have entrusted them with planning the vacation of their dreams. Their motto is extra care with no extra costs, and with their Price Watch program, you can be sure you're getting the best value for your vacation dollar. Their expert agents have all the insider tips and tricks to getting those dining reservations, how to navigate My Disney Experience and Genie Plus, and much more to make your vacation extra magical. If you're interested in booking your next trip with Magical Vacations Travel, visit their website at MagicalVacationsTravel.com listed in the description box below. Now let's check out the room. I actually filmed my room tour last night, so I'm going to throw it back to Demi from last night. Okay, before we get into all of the details, all the details, let's take a look at the room, big overview of the room, and then a big overview of the bathroom and the toilet room and the hallway. Okay, let's do it. Let's dig into the room. When you first walk in on your right is the little kitchenette area. You have some shelves on top for storage. We have a Keurig coffee maker with some Joffrey's Keurig coffees. And if you have your own Keurigs, you can bring them and use it here, or you can take those home. We have an ice bucket, and then we have our refrigerator hidden inside this beautiful fridge cover. Here is the mini fridge. This is the mini fridge we keep seeing in all of the refurbished rooms. They're kind of small, but they're pretty cold. I do wish that they had door storage. Above the fridge is an extra drawer and has our cups and hot cups. Next we have our closet space and cubby spaces. First in the double door closet. I This is a very nice closet, very big, and the wood makes it feel very sophisticated. We have two cubbies on the top. On the right side we have, oh look there's a, a light on on the bar, that's awesome. So you can see if 
the room is dark, all your clothes. Um, so this is the closet side, lots of room to hang stuff in here. On the door, there is a full length mirror. On the left, this is the luggage rack, but you can remove that and use that as more closet space for a short closet. And then underneath, we have two cubbies. And then to the left, we have two cubbies on top. When we open the door, we have a cubby with our steam iron, our ironing board folded up, our safe, and then underneath are two more open cubbies. On the opposite side, we have the bathroom. We have this one single barn wood door. And look, it kind of looks like a face. It's kind of creepy, but it's kind of cool. First, we have our vanity area. This is a double sink lights on both sides a magnifying mirror tissues and then we have our h2o products actually h2o at time of recording is no longer going to be in existence so we'll see what eventually comes into the disney resorts but for now we have our body lotion mouthwash vanity kit and facial soap underneath we have some extra cubby space and a full-size hair dryer next we have our separate standing shower and toilet room this is a very heavy glass door so please be careful especially if there are children here this is a good size shower i really like the tile in here at the very top is our rain head shower head it also has a shower hose attachment and it's actually not refillable ones in here. It is the ones where you can take home shampoo, conditioner, body wash, and another bath soap. There's also a clothesline in here. Just pull this across and attach it for a clothesline. Towels and extra toilet paper. And don't worry, there are more towels over here as well. Okay, let's take a look at our main room. We have our two queen beds. These are the beds that they are doing in the refurbishments where you have lots of storage underneath. They're on these peg legs. That's what I call them. And look, they left us a little Mickey towel here. Today we are the shapers of the world of tomorrow. That's so nice. The thermostat is on the wall next to the painting. And then in the corner, we have this little corner shelf. I've never seen this before in a Disney resort. That's very cool. Each side of the bed has a reading light. You just pull it out and it turns on and push it back and it turns off. We have this very cool looking center console with our phone on it, two small top drawers, and then a wider bottom drawer. In the corner, we have our desk. It looks really nice. Like this is a very sophisticated, looking desk here a very nice office chair but here's what's so cool there was a desk under the desk this is great if you want to use one for eating and the other one for actually working you also have this really nice mirror and this lamp it really feels like important documents have been signed on this desk moving on to the opposite side of the room we do have an adjoining room door i will let you know if i hear my neighbors so far I haven't heard a thing. We have a very nice size TV, it's pretty big. And here is our dresser, and it's just super nice looking. I love all the look of the furniture here. You have these three thin top drawers. On each side, you have three of these square deep drawers. And when you open the door, you have the extra pillow and blanket and more cubby space. Below these pretty sailing photos, we have our couch. This is a couch bed. That's what those extra pillows and sheets were for. To open the couch, at the same time, you have to press this lever down while pulling the strap toward you. Eventually, you can let go of the other lever and just keep pushing all the way down. And there you have your fifth bed. I've tested these beds out before, and I would say people under six feet won't have a problem with this, but I think once you hit that six foot mark, you may feel a little uncomfortable. For reference, I'm 5'2", and my feet are pretty close to the edge. This is a very comfortable bed, especially, it's not like a regular couch bed, this is a real mattress. A fifth person will have a very good time sleeping on this versus if it was a real couch bed. And then at the end of the couch is this standing lamp with a little shelf. Before we look at our balcony and our view, I just wanted you to see this really beautiful blackout curtain with all of the different like stars and their names and all their shapes. I think that's so beautiful. Here is the door to our balcony. It not only has a lock on the bottom, but also this extra latch up here. 
Here is the balcony space. It has partitions to separate each person's balcony. We have two chairs and a table, but oh my goodness, how gorgeous is this? And it's so quiet right now. You can literally hear like all the crickets in the area. And just so you can see, here is what the view looks like during the day. Day or night, it's a really great view. And now it's my favorite time of my room tours, the outlet sitch. We're gonna go around the room and count up all of the outlets because there needs to be enough for at least five people. Outlets are important, they charge your devices. We, we need our stuff charged, so let's count up all the outlets. One by the Keurig, four in the vanity, two under the thermostat, two outlet to USB-A by the mini corner shelf, two outlets to USB-A's in the center console, four outlets for USB-A's on the desk, two by the adjoining room wall, and four outlets for USB-A's on the dresser. There were 21 regular outlets, 12 USB-A's for a total of 33 charging stations. If there are five people in this room, that's about six per person. That is outstanding. I love that they have the outlets on the furniture. When you get furniture that is able to be useful, whether it's the desk or a lamp that has an outlet or USB-A, it is such a huge difference in the room. So I'm so happy this was a success and it's 100% getting the Hijinx Outlet seal of approval. And finally, Oh, okay, this mattress feels different than some of the mattresses I've been sleeping on in the value and moderate resorts. It feels really cushiony, but not too soft, not incredibly firm either. These pillows are nice and fluffy as well. I'm gonna sleep here tonight, and I'll let you know in the morning, which for you is just a few seconds. Well, my dudes, that was Disney's Yacht Club Resort. Last night, I slept so well. I don't know what is in that bed, but it is different than the other beds I've slept on, including the one of the Contemporary. I will link that resort for you here. It was such an incredible mattress and the pillows were fluffy and firm, but not too firm and not too soft. It was the best bed I've ever slept on in any of the Disney resorts. Not that the other ones are bad, but this one was just like exceptional. I did not want to get out of the bed. I did not hear my neighbors, but uh, maybe I didn't have any. I was tr also trying to be as quiet as possible, but I felt like somebody else was hearing me possibly. I don't know. It's hard to tell with adjoining room doors. If you have stayed here before, and can you let me know what your experience is, was with the adjoining room door? Because I feel like I didn't get a good representation. So I would love to know it would help me and others trip planning for Yacht Club. I had such a great stay here. I love Ale and Compass Lounge. I love the location. I honestly really love just like the whole vibe here. It's not great for filming. It's really not <laughs> because it's so dim in there, but I just love to be chill. I also am prone to migraines, so I just love how dim everything is and those blues are just so calming. It's just a great relaxing resort and you're just surrounded by everything. I think that the boardwalk location in general is the best place to stay on Walt Disney World property, even more than the monorail. Being able to walk to Epcot and Hollywood Studios, I know it's a further walk, but you can do that. And just also being surrounded by so many other things going on. And it's just so beautiful with all the lights, you have the beach, and then you have the opposite side where the boardwalk is, you have a ton of dining options over there too and being sisters with the beach club you have beaches and cream and cape may cafe all steps away too there's just a lot you can do without having to go too far and i really appreciate that about this area and i always recommend if you're going to do a deluxe resort to pick one in this area and honestly i really don't think you could go wrong for picking yacht club it's really small there's not that many people around it's a beautiful setting it smells nice and it's very relaxing and the room is great 
So anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you did like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit your bell notifications so you don't miss anything that goes on this channel. Follow me on Instagram at Magical Hijinks. Check out the Patreon, become a patron, you'll get exclusive bonus content, bonus lives, access to the Discord, a free dining guide to Walt Disney World by Disney for Foodies, and so much more. And you'll be helping me to continue bringing you great content on this channel. Thank you once again to Magical Vacations Travel for sponsoring this video. Make sure to check them out. Their link is in the description box below. And until next time, my dudes, I hope you guys can do some hijinks very, very soon. Have a bye.